right right now uh, when you got a chart open and you're connected you are in simulation mode and you can actually see that account it says sim 101 so basically right now if I, this strategy is going to actually continue trading uh, so this light there's a live bar right there uh, I don't know if the market is uh, it's a bit early for it, the bar to be very active but this price will actually fluctuate and move around when the players come around okay so basically what you will see right here are some data coming in okay and uh, the strategy will actually continue executing and you can look at strategy performance right here which is divided into historical real time and both so if i go for historical i will see the strategy statistics uh up to this bar here right uh, right after this bar here I'll, I'll need to open up uh so there's a bunch of stats here that you can go through and uh, if i go for uh the real time uh obviously i'll see whatever happens uh right after this bar here right now all the trades and stuff so and if i go for both basically i'll see both of them right but um the thing is that this is simulation mode and the only difference between this and live is actually you just deselect that you go edit strategy and right here instead of account sim 101 you should actually see your live account well you get that live account uh, data after you sign up with some broker it'll, it'll send you the connection details but uh, overall so this is the only difference between sim and live and uh, the most valuable thing about ninja and amazing is that you actually got replay as well and uh, that's uh, the, the way to get replay data is that you go to utilities download replay data so you select whatever you want to download and the date so l1 date l1 data you can download every day you can up to a year i think right so you just go yesterday before yesterday and so on you can get replay data uh, it, it's actually tick data so you get that um, and uh, for every day and and, and so uh, with L2 data you can only get I think yesterday or the day before Does, I, I'm not sure I haven't tried but uh, it should should give you yesterday so what L2 data is is actually it will give you the market depth as well all right so i suggest that you don't always need it but you do need it if you're doing something to do with market depth so if you go ahead and, and level two so this is your market depth uh information and uh so basically if i go ahead now and uh so i am on es and i'm not sure if i'm actually so there it is so this is your market depth right so I go ahead, right click instruments, uh, ES 0608 here, and that's I'm getting this. This is live, okay, in simulation, but I can go also get this. This is my level two data, so I can get this in replay, and uh, I'll show you what I mean. So basically, if I uh, go ahead and right now, um, actually. Uh, so after you actually download some data, you need to disconnect from your simulation account and connect to your market replay connection. And after you do that, your screen might go blank because, uh, well, because um, the, there might be no data for that particular uh, date. And the thing is that, well, sometimes if you got two screens, especially this problem can happen. So right now I'm actually looking for another window which is um, a little uh, a little window which comes up in um, well basically I, I it's a replay window which looks like this I just pop up my second screen right now and uh, hopefully it'll show up so it's this little thing here and uh, the thing is that right now I have two screens and I put it on another screen and now when I loaded this uh, replay it didn't come up and you'll, you, you'll get this error 100% if you've got two screens. And uh, the way to actually go around this error is uh, very simple. So basically, uh, the uh, it got opened there because it, it was just a workspace that got saved. So in order to get rid of that, you go to your documents, Ninja Trader 7, and you can actually find... Um, it should be it should be somewhere um well in the templates i guess 
Well, I mean, the, the thing is, when you go workspaces and see workspace as, so here, here they are. So you, these are your workspaces, and you got to just get rid of all of them. And the replay will actually open up in a default uh, scenario where this thing will be on your first screen. And uh, so we got to look where, where, where those guys are at. And I, I think they are actually... Uh, right here if you go into oh, there they are workspaces so you just just delete all of them and and restart ninja and then your ninja will open up with a default workspace and that's it you're gonna get this thing done so if you right click this and go to available data you'll actually see all the data that you have downloaded and you can see that I have L1 and L2 data so you can see that I got L2 data for 0805 to 0905. All right, so I can go ahead and I can go to uh, what is it 0805, and that'll take me. Well, actually, yeah, it, it did like that. So well, does doesn't matter anyway. So uh, actually, what would would prefer to have it so 0805 to 0905. Okay, it doesn't matter. So that's it. And if I click replay, the market is actually going to start replaying and executing whatever strategy I got here. And I can stop it anytime. I can fast forward it to 500. You can actually see this bar is, uh, is, is moving, right? So this is replay. This is real stuff. You can see that um, it's, it's going. And uh, so that's, uh, that's the way it is. And if I actually go ahead and... Uh, uh, show you the uh, what is it level two well when you open this up it's empty but if I go ahead and put it cook it up to ES 0608 there I got it so this is the data that has been downloaded with level two right so that's all the stuff that actually came with it okay and uh, well there's a question that this is not moving for some reason right now maybe because it's uh, just uh, well, anyway. So that's uh, that's uh, something to to ask, maybe support or something. But maybe it's just the way that this data downloaded. But you can see this is moving, so you are actually getting level two stuff. Okay. So this is about it about um, the so the difference between simulation mode, replay mode, and live mode. Okay, so next we're gonna go into the the environment. You need to code this uh, effectively. So let me just pause this video for now.